Thank you for coming to this tutorial. My name is Siva Mojaev. I am a former school teacher who got onto TikTok because my students were interested in it. I figured it out and I grew to about 30,000 followers and I was also a wedding photographer on weekends. I leveraged that following to my wedding photography business and then I eventually booked out my wedding photography business for two years. I ended up quitting teaching and just doing my wedding photography full time. Then people started asking me, how did you do it? Here is how I did it. Now, by the way, I have fast forwarded to 2023, which you are all watching me from, and maybe in the future in 2024. And I have 1.6 million followers on TikTok. I turn the tap on and post about my wedding photography. I get a whole bunch of inquiries organically. I don't have any ads spent. I don't do anything else. This is the magic that I am sharing with you today using this social content success guide that I've built that you can have access to, link in the description. But you're here because you don't know how to make content to save your life. Or you're here because you're a marketing student or you're a, a marketing person who already has a job, but you don't really know the creative side of it for some reason. and You need to figure it out. You need some help. Well, I'm going to help you through this. We're going to do a run through this because everybody asks me all the time and I'm just going to make this recording for you and you can just watch this over and over and over again. And then I'll tell you some more stuff at the end of the video. Let's go for it. So this here, this is a toolkit that I've built over the last five years. And there, yeah, let's just start with page one. Page one. This here will help hype you up. And it's got 30 things that I remember that I did as I was building my content. For example, consistency is important. Try to post regularly to keep your audience engaged. Be creative with your filming locations and use interesting backgrounds to add visual interest to your videos. Try to create content that is informative, educational, or thought-provoking, as well as entertaining. Huge one. Now, this is from my personal observation. There's gonna to be tons of TikTok gurus that will tell you otherwise, that will disagree with some of this stuff. This is my personal observation, and I'm saying it with full confidence because I've got over 1.6 million followers. The first year after I left school, I was, as a school teacher, I, was, I made over $150,000 just in wedding photography from bookings that came directly out of TikTok videos. And then I started teaching other people and then that scale. But that's not what I'm here to help you with. I'm here to help you with content from what I know and how I got there. And that's it. I'm not trying to preach what other people are preaching. Uh, it's all bullshit most of the time anyway because they're just regurgitating from one another. This is all raw stuff from me. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> all right. So now we've got the 10-step creative process. And I've made it so, so simple. Start by brainstorming ideas. Choose an idea that you like and you're passionate about. Plan out your video in detail. Gather the necessary equipment like video camera, lighting props, special effects, whatever. Record it, edit it, publish it, engage with your audience, keep looking at the analytics, and then implement the 80-20 rule. Repurpose, template, 80% what works, and then keep experimenting with the other 20. That's it. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you through here. Now. There is a little bit more of a guide on how to do this that is free that you can access here, right? So there, I just made it prettier. It's a prettier version. But there's also some stuff in here that's not in this main thing here. So if we go to brainstorming, there's a nice little thing in here. So I'll let you play with it. Okay, idea generation, a few examples. It looks nice, right? So this is kind of like a version two of that. One day, all of this will be inside of that and you'll have it, okay? So definitely have a look at the Content Conqueror's Guide. If you want this as a standalone, go to the link in the description. There will be a, a way that you can access this. Okay, so next one here. Now this here is for people who want to really have their hand held. If, you really, if you're that type of person that wants to book a personal trainer who helps you with every exercise at the gym to make sure you're doing it right all the time no matter what, 
this is what you get. You get have like book in this. If you want to do this, just click this and it'll get you a link to uh, booking a 15 minute call with me. But this is not what I'm here for. This is only if you need that. So step one, evergreen content list. Now your channel, your TV station, your brand is a TV station. You have to think of it like that. Okay. There are examples in here that you can look through when you go through this, but I'll just explain to you how I see it. Every channel needs pain points, relatable moments, educational moments, or authority, okay? For example, an actual TV station has Family Guy or The Simpsons or whatever, and in those episodes have relatable moments. In those episodes have pain points, right? So you need to establish your TV channel or TV station, whatever, which does the same thing, with content pillars. They're your TV shows, okay? So your series of ideas. Inside those TV shows are seasons in each one, okay? Again, examples are in here for you to look at when you look through this. And then finally, in these seasons, each specific episode is a specific point that covers one of these or all of these or whatever, okay? This is at a glance. Now, the fun thing is, you don't actually get to decide of what is in here. You are testing what is required by your target market. So make content that is relatable, that is educational, authority, and pain points. But make sure that you love making it, right? Because you're in your testing phase if you're starting out. And if you're learning this for the first time, you're, you're def that's definitely what you're doing. Now, the reason why I say that you don't get to decide of what you actually put in here it's what your target audience decides. If they like it, you damn well better make this your evergreen content. If they don't like it, you keep testing and you keep testing, right? As you practice more, the better you'll get, right? I'm not here to give you this video will make your account go viral the first time. If you're here because you want to make a video that goes viral, the very first video you put up on your TikTok, new TikTok channel or new Instagram reel, whatever, it's not going to happen for everyone. It may happen to you. You may be that outlier, but you have to be careful because a lot of TikTok gurus out there are leveraging those outliers as success stories and it's bullshit, right? People get lucky. People just get it, okay? And we can talk about that another time. Now, going down to this, this is our kind of content area. So idea dump. Now, again, I'm going to mention this. If you want to book me to run through this with you, we will go through a 30-minute session, 60-minute session, 90-minute session. Obviously, the more minutes there are, the more comprehensive it is and the more ideas you have at the end of it. Again, I'm here to teach you how to do it yourself, but there are options for me to book me as a personal trainer, right? So what you do is you open this up and you have all these different kind of uh, ideas or, or to, to begin with. Like, for example... If you're a service-based business, you want to create a piece of content, tutorial, how to, and maybe you're demonstrating a product on how to use it, a guide on how to use it, tips and tricks of how to best use it, or repair it, or, I don't know, upgrade it. Up to you. Interviews and collaboration. So again, if you're a service-based business, interview one of your existing clients and tell them what they think, all right? Or with an influencer, or if you have an employee, Interview them to tell, ask them about the business. So many ideas here. And what you do is when you open it up, you select one of these that is applicable to you, and then you copy it, and then you dump it down here, and then you start brainstorming manually, right? So this is a Kickstarter. Now, if you're struggling with that, then that's where SS Live comes in. Now, I can show you SS Live. And SS Live is not available to the public, but, and I'm just going to get it up for you guys here, but I would like to, give me a second, I'm just going to put it into the screen so you can see it. I would like to do these sessions with you guys. I want to help you guys out. So this is what SS Live looks like when you're doing it with me. Okay, we could put in your website in here, and it will come up with ideas so you don't even have to do this part here, 
okay? So this is just a sneak peek of what that looks like. But we're here, you're using this for now, and it was just a quick little teaser. So content script and planning workflow. So when you come up with ideas, you open up this window here, and this will load up for you. Hopefully quicker than this. <laughs> so what you do is you, if you have a content idea, you press new, and it will just automatically open this up. Then you hov hover over this and open up that side peak there. And then just click on one of these and it'll automatically generate a template. We're just gonna go a template for now. And in about five seconds, there we go. Here we go, we've got the hook, we've got the text, we've got the script, WTA, which is wire to action. I'll explain to you that later on. And hashtags you wanna do and what the caption is in the TikTok and then anything else like green screens and other stuff. Brainstorm in here, what you need to do in here, here's some examples, and then inspired by, you could put it in here. Now if there's a specific sound, put the link in here, and then you'll figure it out, explore it. But this is all organized for you, so you don't have to think. Once you fill that out, and you've scripted it, put it into here, ready to film. And that's to tell you, you've got this many ideas to film, then to edit, then to be posted. Once it's posted, you come back seven, 14 days later, and depending on what you set as a viral video, mine initially would be about 10,000 views for a starting uh, account, or and then eventually 100,000. Put into viral content, which means that idea becomes evergreen for your channel. It becomes a TV show, right? That's it, that's how you do it. So there's the first one there I'll leave for you to play with. Now, then we have AI prompt up. Now this is a fun one because a lot of people ask me to help them with use chat GPT and how to help them further. To do that, book a session in here. What you'll do is when you click this, this will go to a Calendly link which will bring you to here. It's a $250 an hour session, personally with me, and I teach you everything you need to know about AI, and it's catered to you, so it's a good investment. It's there if you need it, you don't have to have it if you don't want to. Now, this next page, New resources for you, version 1.1. I've just updated it now, there's nothing in here. As you grab this guide, you will see new resources frequently updated that you get to have. Lifetime, no cap. Grab this guide and you'll, it's like an investment, a really cheap one. <laughs> now, there's also something here that I'm still working on. It's under construction, but it teaches you who the people who already have followers, that have fans, to then how to generate uh, them into clients for your business. I'll help you with that. Now, all the tools you need. Now, I'm gonna do a quick run through this. So everything TikTok SEO. There's some keyword learnings that you can do in here. Now, you can pause here and take this, I don't care. It's easy to find on the internet, but it's there if you need it, it's all organized. Then we have a motorbike driving away into the sunset, finding the best idea. Here are some simple notes that I've created for you. When you have an idea, you work through this and this will help you. So, first and foremost, you wanna make the idea. If you don't wanna make it, don't force yourself to make it, unless it's your job. <laughs> now, if it is your job, Ask yourself, is it logically possible, feasible, right? Fix that. Is the hook good? Which means, is the start of the video good? If it is, great. Is the mechanism good? Does it retain the audience, all right? Here are the three steps to blank. Go for it. Follow expectations, but have a twist. Does it excite you? If you're watching that video, does it excite you? Is it rewatchable, right? Where's the virality aspect evidence to match expectations? Okay, so this is the things that you ask yourself with the content. Get outside this perspective. How can we package this into a content thumbnail title? And who do you want this to hit? Core, casual, or new audiences? Now, simple template for a video. Just formatting that as I go. I first recently wrote this. So I just want to instantly share it. So your hook, your foreshadow, your transition, but therefore storytelling. That's your flow of a video. Process, pool of ideas, like I said before, choose one idea, write the hook, and then write the last line of the video. Then, 
foreshadow the hook, so something that connects from the hook to the rest of the video. Then there's your rough script and outline in bullet points. Some people prefer scripts, but I think it's bullshit. Outline and then just talk your ass off. I'm not scripting this, I'm going ham and just telling you what's on my mind because everyone keeps asking me, so I'm like, stuff it, I'm gonna record it, and here you are. Then you film, then you revise, and then you finalize, and then you edit, and then you fix that edit, finalize, edit, I'll just put that in there, and then yeah. If you're making it for YouTube, it's a slower pace, more mature audience, more story. For TikTok, short videos, dense information, and reels, more mature, more visual, more shareable, okay? Civil process, consistency, experimentation, you will fail. Damn well you'll fail, like I have for the last five years, but then you learn, and then you succeed. Just put that one in at the end, because eventually, eventually, you succeed, right? But you have to go through this first, okay? If it was easy, if it was easy, everybody would be TikTok famous, okay? So that's finding the best idea, okay? So, if you're starting out for the first time and you don't know how to use a phone on yourself, I have written a somewhat guide. Again, it's simple. I don't like to write paragraphs and deep and meaningful theories. I used to be a school teacher. The kids hated that. They just wanted to get to the point and just do checklists and here it is. This is a lovely little screenshot of me of how to position yourself on the phone. Done. Right? So there's that one for you. Then you have, uh, oh, I think I missed one. Oh no. Ready, set, post quick ideas. Showcase bestsellers. Go behind the scenes. Talk to happy customers. Work it into daily routine. List it out. Brainstorming prompts. I've done all for you. I've done all for you. You don't have to really look into it. Now, the seven TikTok commandments and video checklist. Okay? So, before you post, go through this. Use the whole, whole screen. Make some noise. Be charismatic. Go ham. Keep it short, though. Simple is good. Show and tell. Talk to viewers. Use text and even add captions. I'll show you how to do that. Use popular stuff. Okay? That's why it's trendy, right? Team up with other people. And there's your checklist of everything. My God, please. Go through this checklist. Because if you miss one of these, I'll be like, did you go through the checklist? And you'll be like, no, I did not. And I'm like, that's why. So that is the checklist. Recipes for idea generation. Here we go. Audiences and insights. Do surveys and polls. Comments and section. Um, this is where you go into the comment section and reply to what the audience is talking about. And it doesn't even have to be to your own video. It could be just someone else's. Trend spotting, competitor analysis, collaborations, repurpose existing content. If you already made content, repurpose it. I'll help you do that if, if you want as well. Educational content. This is my bread and butter. This is the best one. So this right here is educational content. Seasonal and thematic ideas. Holidays, national days, events and anniversaries. Those slap. Christmas is coming up. Let's get it. UGC, get that involved. Inspirational, motivational. Right? If you're one of those people, go for it. Keep consistent. Be real though. Don't bullshit. And then entertainment. Your skits, your challenges, your game quizzes. And then you have SS Live. All right? Once again, SS Live. This is version one. This is what you'll see me use with you. There is a version two that will be available, if not already, eventually. At this time of recording, we're very close to launching it. And I sure as hell hope that... Um, Everybody uses it because it's something that's never been done before. So literally, it will help you with what you need. So we're going into the next part of this. Nice little music in the background. From here, there is Master Recording Cheat Sheet. Hooks Guide shows you how little, just, just hooks done for you, okay? Busting 30 tall tales about your niche. Golden rule every viewer type should know. And this is where you fill in your own thing. Behind the scenes facts about being a musician or being a personal trainer or being a chef or be working in hospitality, okay? Unlock superhero moves for you kicking a goal, for example, all right? More hooks where that came from. Now, here is leveling up your cap cut editing, okay? Going through this, and as you go down, you get better and better. You become a novice, an intermediate, an advanced, and then a pro. Check all these off 
to be able to achieve that and you become a master editor. Then you have things that you need to do before hitting post checklists on TikTok. Go through all of these and there's more where that came from. There's one for Instagram as well. Post analytics cheat sheet. What to look for when you're looking back at your content and how to think about it, what to do. It's all there. And then we've got accountability and milestones. This is one of my favorites, okay? So most people start at level one. You need to start small and simple, 10 pieces of content per month in two days. You need to be able to learn how to create that because then you don't have to do anything. You just have to post it, right? If you are able to check off all of these, I guarantee you, you'll be able to do that. Then you get into level two, 20 pieces of content, all right? We upgrade and then level three and then so on. And then one of my favorite, favorite pieces of information here, achievements. I used to play Xbox a lot, right? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna just show you the first one, okay? Ceiling Storyteller, first glance, 100 views on a single piece of content. If you post it, you will achieve this on either Instagram or TikTok. But if you don't post it, you can't achieve this. So make your first piece of content. 50 likes on any post, 10 comments, five shares, three saves, 100 followers. Okay, once you get all these, you upgrade to the next one. Now, if you're consistent and you're having fun with it and you're enjoying making the content, which hopefully you should be with this, you by the time you get here, you would have achieved some of these goals already. And then we keep going and we keep going and we keep going. So there's that list for you there. Okay, now the actual content ideas are not super hard to come up with. Okay, let's go back to this and I'll do one for you. Let's say you are a service-based business. It doesn't matter what it is, you're a service-based business and you have a specific personality about you, right? Let's just choose one of these. Here we go. Inspirational, motivational, brand impact stories. Let's just copy that, close this off, paste it in here. Okay, share how your brand has made a difference. Okay, my brand, which services x people made a difference the other day by y fill in the x fill in the y okay now hook here's how we managed to y with our client okay and you have to be specific with that why, cater to your target audience. Okay? So this is the idea. And then this is the hook. And then we're gonna do the last line. And then, um, let us help you. Or something like that, okay? And then put in dot points, dot point one. The beginning, their problem. The middle, what you did to solve it. The end, the result, the extra. The result from that result. Show that, and that's what people like. And then, last line. You have to fill these in yourself because you're the expert of your service-based business or the product that you have. That's it. So there's your first idea, okay? It's as easy as that. Now, from there, what you do is you go to the hooks guide and go, right, which one of these hooks could, could be useful? Or let's say you are a specific service-based business and you need some ideas. Check this out. And here's what I've prepared earlier. You go into my SS Live here, press develop ideas, go here, and then let's change it. My brand, which services mowing lawns, for people, made a difference the other day by uh, showing how different and fresh 
cut lawn um, would look like. I don't know. Let's just go with that. Here's how we managed to help, um, help, and then just get rid of the word with. How about client? Okay, done. Now it's going to go generate ideas. Bang, watch this. It's going to ask us, what sort of ideas would you like? Here are the options. Let's go with funny. Press three. Okay, one more, lo more lawn mowing goes wrong. The lawn mowing dance, talking to my lawn mower. The lawn mowing Olympics, fantastic. The grass is always greener. Okay, so this is obviously expanding on the idea. Now you had a template here, you can still do that. Okay, but this is where it gets really, really interesting. Let's say we want to grab this still. Let's grab this, and we're going to go into script, go here, and then write a script. What style of script are we writing? We're going to go talking head, because you're just going to talk to the camera, just like in the guide that I've created. And it's going to ask us the tone. It's going to go educational. And then it's going to ask for a WTA, which is a white action. We're going to go yes. Look at that, bang. Our client was dealing with an overgrown and unruly lawn. Okay, their problem. It was not It was not only an eyesore, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's the extra problem. We totally get it, okay? So we stepped in, this is a golden nugget, with our professional lawn mowing service, okay? And that is what you did to solve it. We trimmed, edged, manicured their lawn to perfection. The transformation was incredible. Properly, the property regained its charm, the client was thrilled. But here's the kicker. So we just showcased the result, or the middle and the result. Here's the kicker. The freshly cut lawn not only improved the aesthetic of the property, but also increased its market value. Yes, you heard it right. A well maintained lawn can boost your property's value. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but it just gave you the result from that result. Okay? You change whatever you want from this. And then the WTA is, so don't let your overgrown lawn overshadow your beautiful property. And if you want your lawn to be the envy of your neighborhood, also the bleh, fill it. We're also adding the value to your property. Hit the fill follow button. We're here to help you. Okay? Right? This is just a template. It got you 90% of the way there. And all through how we did it from our idea dump through here. Isn't that great? Drop mic moment, right? So that that is as easy as that. Now, for the moment, SS Live is not available. If it is, you'll see a, a link in the description to this video where you'll be able to um, get on board and be able to go through it yourself and do exactly what I did to make your content. It's as easy as that. But for now, if it's not there, when you get this guide, you can book in one of the sessions and we can do it together whilst we're still in beta. So hopefully it's the, uh, the former thing and eventually it will be, especially two weeks from now. <laughs> but yeah, so that is how you create content from start to finish. But if you want me to walk it through with you, click this and then book in one of these sessions, okay? It's not cheap, but it's for the serious people. If you want me to do a whole workshop specifically with you that is 90 minutes instead of this 30 minute video, then click that and away we go, all right? These links will be already in the bio um, so you don't have to go through this content um, success guide. Now, the rest is up to you. However you want to play this, you've got to start creating content. This guide has everything you need, one-stop shop. That's it. Then, if you still want help, this is where you book me in for the lessons here. And we can do that if you're ready to do a full 10-week cohort or if you want one-off sessions, all right? Think of it like a personal trainer. There's a 10-week program with me as your personal trainer every week. Or if you want one-off help, this is where you go into here, and then you book one of these, however you want, just like a personal trainer. And guess what? I used to be a personal trainer, and I've got a teaching degree, so I know what I'm doing. I can help guide you. 
and then we can add resources together. So there it is. Link in the description for any of those options. I look forward to helping you soon. Good luck.